So here we are on Facebook Live with, I'm Sean Callagy, America's accountant, Mr. Dan Gelcher. How are you? Very good, Sean. And we are here for your amazing and incredible and awesome new book. And what's that all about? Because we had a conversation about this a bunch of months ago. I was incredibly intrigued because accountants are typically super boring, dull people. Are they not, Dan? They are. All right. A <laughs> except for? Except for you. Right. Right? And my partners. And your partners, right? <laughs> and Dan is frequently on Fox, like frequently, like super frequently. Yes. And so what's this book about? This book, Sean, is about combining discussions about financial issues and karma, because I think everybody, everybody's touched by both of those issues. Remember, karma is action, and for every action, there is a reaction, so it's all cause and effect. So what I've done here is I've taken 40 topics, current events, and I've looked at them through two lenses. One is financial, and one is karmic. Combine the two. Amazing. So now, for a lot of folks out there, you, you have a super degree of credibility. You work with family offices, you're on Fox News, correct? Yes. Okay. And so for some, they might be like, wow, that sounds like a little bit loose, new agey. I don't even know if new agey you know, means anything anymore, but it sounds a little odd for somebody who's as analytical, specific, and driven as you are financially. What prompted this work? Well, the world is changing. Sean, so we have to change with our environment. So if you're going to be an accountant, in, in my case, in my profession, and you're just going to sit back and wait for things to happen, they're going to happen just without you. So if you want to take active part in what's happening in your environment, in your field, in your profession, you've got to get out there and do things. And the best way to do that is to look inside, who am I? And then pull that out and share it with the universe. And that's what I'm doing. Beautiful. And what's your ultimate dream and vision? Because I think we've had some of that conversation. The ultimate right? dream and vision all the way down the line, which you have to connect the dots for, is freeing Tibet. Like freeing Tibet. Like that's not a small outcome. So no, that, that's pretty big. That's okay. like Berlin Wall type stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's how it's done. And yeah, now how I'm going to get there, I'm not sure. I just see the end, and I just have to keep connecting dots until I get there. Well, I'm going to bet it's something like influencers influencing influencers to merge ecosystems for one plus one equals a trillion relationships to make the world an even greater place. I think that is going to be involved in this outcome, which is what's happening today, which is what happens every time you're on Fox, which is what happens when you're the influencer that Dan, you are. I respect you tremendously, appreciate you tremendously, and I would like to, you don't have to say yes on camera, right? But I'd like to invite you, we're doing Legendary Mastermind Dallas, which is an event that we just did, had an incredible group of people that were out there. I'd love to invite you to be a speaker. Think about it, I'm not asking for an answer now, it's in July, but this is a tremendous movement that's happening of influencers influencing influencers to get together merge ecosystems of really tremendously, uh, the group of people that you want to be meeting with and talking to. So we'll talk more about it. But I, I didn't think about saying that before we got on camera, and as we're here, I'm like, Dan, Fox, Family offices, amazing, writing the new book, it'll be a tremendous place for you to be. Well, let me, let me think about it. I'm in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there's out there that are like, you know, may not be aware of your work, and America's accountants is a big thing. People hype things a lot and say things that have no real meaning and place in the world. How often, for the folks out there that don't know you, Dan, how often do you appear on Fox? So I'm on, I'm on Fox once, twice, three times a week. It all depends on the news cycle. I w I'm on TV with starting to be almost every day. I was just on CBS this morning, and of course, I, they, they had a hit time of almost 10 o'clock. I said, you got to move it. And they moved it. So, so we talked about that. So net, like news shows, and net, these are national news shows, of correct? Of course, yes. Right? Of course, it's like, dude, I'm not a yeah. local, like national news. <laughs> like, what's up? I'm Dan Gilchrist. I'm America's accountant. I'm writing like financial karma, right? And that—that that is the name of the book. Yes. Yes. Positive financial karma. Positive financial karma. So, um, anybody, real quickly, we're on Facebook Live. Anybody have a question for? I, I have more questions. Does anybody have a question, real quickly, for Dan? Do not be shy. Do not worry about the fact that you're on Facebook Live. So, some of our team is here at Calgary Law. Any questions? Can you give an example of one of the current events that you examine? Sure. James so, Reinsman, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice. Thank you for that question. So I'll go right to the heart of a great example in this book that I talk about. And, it's, and the topic is wasting food. Now, when you talk about wasting food, how do we combine that finances and, car and karma? Let me tell you how we do that. 
What's the thing that everybody thinks about doing when they go out and buy food? Let me go out to Costco because the food is so cheap, right? I can buy 50 gallons of mayonnaise. I'll have mayonnaise for the rest of my life. But the truth of the matter is, it, it, in our heads, what we're thinking, I go out, buy food in bulk, I'm saving tremendously. Statistics show Americans waste 30 to 50% of the food they purchase, so they actually throw it out. So the question becomes, are you actually saving money by buying in bulk when you're throwing out that much food? The answer is no. So we need to adjust our thought process, buy what you need, and use it all, right? That's the financial side. Now, karmically, we're always talking about our environment. Well, if we are limiting our waste, isn't that a good thing for the environment? Yes. That is a classic example of positive financial karma. Buying the food and only the food that you're going to use. Ladies and gentlemen, positive financial karma, America's accountant, Dan Geltrude, who will also, thank you, be speaking at Legendary Mastermind Dallas <laughs> right in July, and you're off on your book tour. Please get this book. How would, how would somebody get this book, Dan? Well, we have a whole bunch of copies today, so, <laughs> get, so come on down to <laughs> So get one, get one at Calgary Law, or simply go on Amazon or bon Barnes & Noble on, uh, online. Right. That's awesome, Dan. Thanks it. so much, brother. Thank you. All right. So, uh, 